has been named the number one most endangered river in America. Why? Because of the threat from drilling and fracking. I have three little children in my house. I'm not here against you folks at all. We're just looking for water. Our water was contaminated with barium, chloride, strontium, manganese, lead, methane, radiological material, and radon from the drilling of the natural gas well 1,200 feet from our property. That is the water that we have been drinking, cooking with, and showering in. Here you can see it as it now comes out of the well. It's the color of chocolate milk. Even after weeks, it still does not settle out. Cabot and the state of Pennsylvania have determined it is now suitable for ingestion. We will not have any water in the house unless I hook up my contaminated well back again. I am not gonna do that and let them off the hook for this. They destroyed it and they have to pay for it. What we see in some of these wells today may really be only the beginning before the larger contaminant load arrives over years, maybe decades, maybe a century. These are invited guests to our community and they treat it like their own private waste dump because they're not going to stay here. When they're done with their jobs here, they're going to go somewhere else. Our water is the most precious, essential thing to all of our lives and we have to protect it and we have to be generous with the people who've lost this very, very basic privilege. Every single energy source has its pluses and minuses from an environmental perspective, from an economic perspective, from an efficiency perspective. But Pennsylvania natural gas is our best economic opportunity we've had in decades. Money isn't everything. What are they gonna do for you? Are you gonna be able to put up with the 24 hours noise? Are you gonna be able to put up with the trucks coming and going at all times of the day? Are you gonna be able to turn around and not get drinking water? I wanted to live here, but I wanted to grow old here. The scientific evidence on fracking's impact on public health is incomplete. But the benefit of the doubt goes to our children, not to the things that threaten our children. The people in New York State or Lackawanna County or Monroe County are anti-gas. Take it to your county. Don't bring it to Dimmock Township. You know what? You keep your nose in Binghamton. I'll give you that advice. We'll worry about dinner. Only the act of a few that are allowing it to happen. It's the act of many getting together that can stop the actions of a few. These 12 families have stood together for three, over three years against the multi-billionaires. And guess what? They're spending $125 million this year to counteract these 12 people and all of us. This is America, right? And we are patriots. This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. And those words mean something. Your grandchildren are screwed if we're not really careful.